Hello guys, this is Kong. Today I'm back again. Today I'm gonna do a movie review about a monster's call. Uh, I just want to say I didn't know what to think about this movie when I saw the trailer. You know, I thought it was interesting and I was intrigued. And um, I did not regret going to watch the movie and so should you. So, today I'm gonna talk about the pros, the con, suggestion and the moral of the story or what the thing that it talks about or addresses. So a monster's call is uh, what I like about this movie is uh, our main actor is uh, his name is Connor uh, who's acted by Louis McDo McDougal. Sorry if I pronounced his last name incorrectly. Uh, and the cast was really great. You know they played the role uh, perfectly and it was believable. You know it was like it felt like a real you know family dynamic or dysfunctional dynamic. Dy dysfunctional families and the second thing I really like about this movie is Liam Nelson his voice acting for, uh, for the monster and um, and I also like the look of the monsters it's uh, it's kind of like tree kind of like the tree from uh, the Lord of the Rings that's sort of uh, kind of resemblance but this is more uh, organic more uh, mystique more uh, old more more ancient that's the word i'm looking for more ancient is really a, a really uh, mythical creature and uh, i like the fact that it's a really compelling story the plot the, the the driving factors for connor our main characters and it has real conflict where consequences and as in real life and uh, I like the animation of the story when the monster tells the stories of three different stories and then you know Connor obviously had to tell his own story. So there was a four story and it went in one story. So that was kind of interesting. So I liked the book. And there's a lot to like about this movie. There's a lot to think about. There's a lot to, to ponder about. Just keep saying the same thing. But you get what I'm saying. The con is that there's only one con I uh, kind of picked out, at least for me, is that there are times when it is get kind of, kind of confusing when he kind of falls asleep, but uh, the movie that will show you that he falls asleep, it shows you the after, uh, afterwards that he falls asleep or he was sleepwalking. I guess I can't really fault or make that as a con because they do show it to you that he's actually sleepwalking or in his sleep. So not much uh, a con. The only con is I wish there was a, a little bit of a, a fight between his father uh, and him as oh, he was a little bit younger. Uh, you know maybe show him the, the separation uh, or the divorce between his mom and his father and uh, maybe that can build a little bit more more frustration for Connor in the movie Connor does have already frustration I, he, he have a lot of that but I'll get to that point uh, so the moral of the story there's a lot of moral to the story there's a lot of messages you know this uh the main message about this movie is no relationship is perfect. You have to work on it. It's kind of like uh, pottery, where you, you know, when the when the uh, the clay keeps spinning, you keep form, forming to make it a perfect relationship. Even though it's not perfect, it's gonna have its rocky moment in any relationship. So, I thought that was kind of like really important. You know, the relation between relationship between mother and father, relationship between uh, grandmas that sort of thing and the relationship to others and even imaginary monsters so I thought that was really interesting that they this movie uh, approach and then another thing that it, it deals with or it talks about is you know talking about death you know someone dying of sickness and letting them go uh, because of that sickness that can be cured and also you need to be truthful to oneself uh, and saying that I am scared that my mom is dying I'm scared that I'm gonna lose her uh, I'm scared that I'm alone in this world 
that sort of thing. And it, it, it addresses that in a really uh, human way possible. You know, it's not like it's give it to you. It's, it shows you, it shows you the, the struggle this kid has. And I like that. And it also shows uh, about growing up, really. Because Connor is at the age where he is slowly becoming an adult. I think he's like in middle school and going to becoming, you know, a high schooler, so to speak. And he sort of had to stand up for himself, make his own decision, uh, express his own opinion, don't keep it all in. And this movie show a lot uh, about Connor's frustration and anger that he has that uh, he just can't stand up. And this movie also show that, you know, you have to be brave, uh, up, uh, brave and stand up to a bully. Even when it's, when you think it's not right, you have to stand up to fight for a bully, stand up for yourself and others. And that's what this movie also uh, addresses. And um, and that's kind of uh, that's that's what this movie addresses. A lot of these uh, human condition, a human conflict, the human condition. Uh, you know, we deal with deaths, we deal with our feeling, losing someone we love, growing up, becoming old, dealing with our imagination, dealing with our consequences. And accepting them, being responsible, and moving on. This movie, you know, talk a lot about these uh, these things that a lot of movie don't talk about or addresses. So, I uh, again, I highly recommend this movie. It's a really great movie uh, to watch, especially for adult. I don't know if I would recommend for younger kids, but for adult, it's a really good movie. I give this a 9 out of 10. It's really, 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 really good. Uh, it's one of those movies, it, it really addresses those uh, human conditions. It really does. So please go out, watch this movie. You enjoy it, you appreciate it, you understand uh, about dealing with uh, uh, people in, our, in, in different relations, relationships. So. On that note, I want to say thank you so much for your time and effort to watch my videos. And please, please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel because it will help me a lot. More to come for you guys, of course. Thank you so much for your time. Take care, guys.